it's fiberglass built. Um, it's 85 foot overall length with a 22 foot width on beam. It's got 10 staterooms aboard, two people to a stateroom or two bunks to a stateroom. She's got three engines aboard her, three V12 uh, Detroits in it. She has onboard capabilities of uh, pumping uh, compressed air for my divers. With the rigs that we dive out here, we like to call them the vertical reefs. And they contain a lot of corals, hard and soft corals, a lot of marine life on them. They attract a lot of marine life. And for your spear fishermen, it's real good for their spear fishing. And for your just divers, and even your novice divers, it's real good atmosphere for them because you, once you make your dive, it's from the surface all the way down, vice versa, back up. And you can pick your range you want to dive. Unlike wreck diving or deep coral diving, you don't have no mid-range. You would go down to the bottom, there's nothing in between. Here, you can pick your level that you want to dive with your experience. We have two-day dive trips. We have three-day dive trips. We also have three-day liveaboard fishing trips that operate out of the Chandelier Island. We leave from the same place at the Isle of Capri Casino, and we'll travel to Chandelier for three days or to the rigs for three days, and we also have the two-day dive trips as well. Tonight I'll be fixing dinner for 28 people. It's a little more difficult cooking out here, as you can see, due to the wave action. Let's go on into the galley and take a look. This is the reason that we have the uh, lips and the uh, condiment holder, and also our pot holders over there, because in really rough seas, it can be pretty difficult to you know, keep things on the counter and on our stove area. Uh, tonight, we're going to be having grilled fish. Uh, we're gonna, we have snapper, amberjack, and lemon fish. Uh, we're also going to have stuffed crabs and grilled shrimp along with sauteed vegetables. And we're gonna have bananas foster for dessert. Right now we're getting ready to uh, start stuffing our crabs. You can see we got some crab shells and I've got the stuffing already made up here. And we're gonna put them in there, top them with the little breadcrumbs. We cut no corners on our food. We have a, a chef aboard who is also happens to be a diving instructor, has his own uh, diving business, and he on board here, he's also the dive master. He plans all the dives and, and sees the safety of the diving. Once your buddy gets in, y'all go ahead and make your descent down into the rig, okay? Uh, once inside the rig, I want y'all to stay inside of the rig. Don't go outside of the rig, okay? You're not gonna be able to see anything. Uh, the first platform is gonna be about 40 foot. And that's where all, you're going to see all your corals and tropical fish. You'll see uh, some bicolor chromuses. Uh, you'll see French angels, blue angels, scroll fish, a lot of sergeant majors. When you dive in the Caribbean, you see mostly small fish. You don't see a lot of large fish. And on the oil rigs, you see more big fish, but you see a lot of the smaller tropical fish, too. So you don't only see the small picture like you see when you're in the Caribbean, but you see the big picture, you see the big fish. The tropical fish, the things that you don't normally see here in the Gulf, uh, they exist here because of the, uh, the water conditions that uh, we don't find near shore. So a lot, of, a lot of tropical fish that you would normally see on the uh, reefs, maybe down around the Florida Keys or in the Caribbean uh, occurring here. It went terrific. Got some good shots of some barracuda and some other real pretty fish. Karen was handling a little coil and I got a lot of good video, a lot of good stuff. Uh, lots of fish, lots of coral. This water is blue and clear. You can see 40, 50 feet down. What I do is I arrange the boat. I just go ahead and charter the boat and we sell the spots on the boat. Uh, anybody that wants to come and go out on the Sea Angel would need to call me at Deep South Scuba in Jackson. Today we're, we've got a pretty good uh, situation. We've had some nice blue water, seen a lot of pretty fish, shot some nice fish. Uh, we're fixing to tie up to a rig here that's got a lot of fish on it. I'm, I'm expecting to see a, uh, 
the spear fishermen really have a good take on this dive. Uh, later on, the next rig that we dive will be a great dive. It'll be really pretty, and uh, it'll be a good place to go for a night dive. The fish have still been tropical, and there's been the sharks and the barracudas. I mean, I think that you can see anything here that you'll see there, and then the uh, tropical areas and spend a lot less money. Mm -hmm. It's really, this is a wonderful boat. I've been on several liveaboards, and for an 85-foot liveaboard out of Biloxi, this is a wonderful experience. The food's great, accommodations are wonderful, people are great. It's a nice truck.